So if you're a shade tree or backyard mechanic or even professional mechanic working in a shop, we all know tools can be very expensive. And a tool that I've wanted for a really long time but just haven't pulled the trigger on due to the expense and the infrequent use is one of these magnetic induction heaters. So finally, this company, KK7s, has released an affordable magnetic induction heater. It's supposed to run at 1300 watts. So I'm gonna show you how it works today. There'll be a link in the description below where you can pick this up. All right, so it comes in this nice case here. So we open it up, got a manual. So this is the actual heater itself. You can see it's a pretty hefty unit. And it comes with a bunch of different tips. So these are for different scenarios. So for instance, what I'm going to show you today is removing a rusted stuck bolt. You'd want to use something like this. The smallest size that will fit over the part that you're trying to remove. So what this takes the place of is heating with something, say, an acetylene torch or map gas or something like that. This works much faster it's much safer because you don't have an open flame. So real quick, like I said, the price. So for even just a mediocre, like a Telwin 5000, it's about $600. And the prices usually go up from there. So this is a sub $200. So right now it's $189 on Amazon. So we're going to put it to the test. We're going to see how it works real quick. See if it's something that you should have in your shop. So I've got here this rusty old muffler. You can see we've got these rusted bolts that will not come off. All right, so before we plug it in, I'm gonna go ahead and insert the coil into the end of the tool here. All right, and then they give you these screw down. Get to make sure it's in there good to make contact. All right, so once you have that snug down, go ahead and plug it in. You can hear it kick on. So you see it has an LED light, so when you press the button, the light comes on. So you can already see it it's starting to smoke. It's getting very hot. It's actually already red hot, so take it off. See? So we want to get it till it's red hot. So it only heats when you press the button, even though it sounds like it's running. So those bolts were disintegrated, so it just busted off. But I just want to show you heating up on that. Now let's go over to an old exhaust manifold bolt. I'll show you how to get that actually off. All right, so here's a different scenario. We've got this longer bolt here that we want to get out. So if we can get the coil on, we can go at it from up here, heat this side of it. Okay. Actually heat the bolt. Now we've got it nice and hot. Spin that bolt right out of there. All right, so this is a really good way to prevent breaking studs or fasteners when you're trying to remove old rusty parts. This is an engine from 1980. It's been on there since 1980. So it's 45 years old and it took it out with ease once we were able to heat it up. All right, so let me give you one more example of this stud or bolt on the exhaust manifold here. Small block Chevy. See how fast that heats that up. Just like if you were using a flame, you wanna let that be on there for a few minutes and get real hot.
All right, so it's important to only run it for five to 15 seconds at a time. You don't want to burn up the tip uh, too quick by using too much heat for too long. So keep that in mind when you're using it. Make sure you read the instructions. I just wanted to give you a quick overview, review of this KK7's magnetic induction heater. Again, for $189, which is what it is right now, really cannot beat the price. I'm glad to have added it to my tool chest. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Be sure to like, subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you later.